the show where we give you our players to watch. And of course, for me, <laughs> I'm going with the guy who's starting under center tonight, yeah. quarterback Nathan Peterman. Now look, in the spring, by all accounts, he looked like a different quarterback than the one we saw maybe a year ago. Early on in training camp, shorts and a t-shirt, he looked great. Now all eyes are on him. The helmet and the pads came on, and he's kind of been the, the third guy uh, among all the quarterbacks. I mean, A.J. McCarron is steady, Eddie. Josh Allen has the biggest highs and the lowest lows. I'm really curious to see how much of a progression we see from Nathan Peterman, especially now that he's getting the start in the first preseason game. You know, we mentioned one defensive rookie in Tremaine Edmonds. I'm keeping an eye on Harrison Phillips. He's consistently made flashy plays during training camp and is making a strong case to be in a rotation with Kyle Williams and Starla Tulele. Practice is one thing, a game is another, but the Bills to a man have nothing but rave reviews for Harrison Phillips as well. I want to see how he handles another team's offensive line. Fellows, who are you keeping an eye on tonight? Josh Allen is my guy. I mean, look, he's the first string. He's the number one pick overall. He's the quarterback of the future. He's got the big arm. It's a home game. It's a nice night. The fans are excited. Who does everybody want to watch? It's the guy who's going to be the future at quarterback. All right, I let you guys talk about Tremaine Edmonds long enough. It's my turn to talk about the rookie linebacker. Here's why I want to watch him, though. I don't care if he makes every mistake in the world. It's the operation of playing middle linebacker that I'm interested in. Can he get those play calls in, into his helmet, set the chess pieces, and get ready to play ball all within about 25 seconds? That's a lot to ask for a 20-year-old. If he does it tonight, everything else will fall into place. I'm going to stay on defense, fellas, because I'm really interested to see what Shaq Lawson is able to do. Let's face it. I don't know that he's in a doghouse when it comes to Sean McDermott, but he's as close as you can get to being in it. He enters his third year, and all along, Sean has said, we need more out of Shaq Lawson. In fact, this spring, Shaq Lawson said, I need to do more, so he admits it. Let's face it, Trent Murphy has been dealing with a groin injury. It sidelined him for a lot of training camp. Shaq Lawson should probably get some extended playing minutes and playing time and snaps in this game. Will he take advantage of it? Because if he doesn't, we could be talking about bye-bye Shaq Lawson because at the end of the day, Sean McDermott, Brandon Bean, they didn't draft this guy. So if he's gone, then you know what? It is what it is. Well, that does it for Buffalo kickoff live for Sal Capaccio. Thad Brown, the fellas back in the studio, Prescott Rossi and Nick Filipowski. Thank you for watching and enjoy the Bills and the Panthers.